Well, you, you talked about Wally Barron and, and Arch Moore's uh, terms and the sort of scandal, political scandals that went with that. Is, is it the case that West Virginia has more than its share of, of corruption? Actually, those were the bad days when there were federal grand juries indicting government people month after month endlessly, but that doesn't happen much anymore. And we just have little scandals now, little minor fringe things, basically. Maybe they're happening and the, and the Gazette can't discover them, <laughs> but uh, it's, uh, it's chicken feed now compared to the bad days. And we don't, other states now have more corruption than we do. And I don't know whether the Gazette helps clean that up a little bit. The federal grand juries certainly do. Uh, the federal agents are really the only ones who can move in and stop corruption because the local prosecutors are all part of the local political scene in a way and most of them are put in office by the, the local political establishment so they're not very eager to jump in and and put their buddies in prison but the feds don't hesitate a bit. Well you talked about the uh, textbook protests being kind of one of the first salvos in the culture wars. Do you think the culture wars have kind of gone away? Lately? I think so. They're kind of over with yeah. and played out? The, the heyday of the culture wars was the 80s and the 90s that's when evangelicals elected Ronald Reagan, basically, and, and they elected George Bush in 2004. But that heyday is dwindling, and America's turning more secular all the time. There are now 30 million adults who don't have any church, they don't bother to go. So the power of political fundamentalism is diminishing all the time. In Europe, it has just virtually vanished. The only religion left in Europe are all the Muslims moving in, and, and they are an ominous kind of force to regular Europeans are very nervous about Muslims taking over so much of their society, and, and so we don't have that in America and the evangelical world is fading and sinking back a little bit and the culture keeps changing all the time. You mentioned you thought that it came out of a, sort of a backlash to the 1960s. Mm -hmm. uh, does it seem maybe like there are trends like you got the 60s and then the backlash and then it kind of fades off and things go in another direction. It's kind of like a pendulum swinging maybe. I've got a whole chapter in the book about how morality has evolved since the 50s. When I was a young reporter in the 50s, it was a felony to be gay. They put you in prison for sodomy then, and it was a crime to open a store on the Sabbath, and, and it, it was a crime to buy a cocktail. You couldn't buy, you couldn't go buy a drink. and. You couldn't buy a lottery ticket. The police were raiding lot, numbers racket sellers. And you couldn't, gambling was totally illegal. And anything like Playboy magazine would, would land you in jail. Or a movie, like a R-rated sexy movie. So that was a very prim and righteous kind of world in the 50s. And it just slowly vanished, and we don't even know quite why it vanished. The, the, the mood of the public changed, the, the culture changed. And now, this isn't a crime for gays to live together, and it isn't a crime for hetero couples to live together. And when I was young, it was a scandal if an unmarried couple lived together, and now they all live together. And, <laughs> and now the state runs the gambling. And, well, they legalized and, it. <laughs> yes, and also <coughs> the uh, the numbers racket, is, as I said, is the state lottery now, and liquor clubs are everywhere. We still have a little bit of a charade 
under the law, there are no bars in West Virginia. There are only private clubs with members only. But everybody, well, know, bars. everybody <laughs> knows <laughs> that's a, well, a sham. And the, the, the fascinating stories that you know, you've told and, and, and traced that whole change, uh, mm -hmm. it, makes a it makes a great collection. I really appreciate you putting it together in one, one volume for us. That was, yeah, that was well, it gives you a look at where West Virginia has come from and it cannot guess where we're, we're going. going to go. Well, thank you so much for coming on and talking with us. Okay. Appreciate it, Jim. Thank you.